According to Mudgal Puran, Lord Ganesha is the widely worshipped deity. Among the heavenly gods, Lord Indra is a revered deity. The five deities Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, Devi and Surya are even more revered than Indra. But according to Shruti Vachan, Lord Ganesha is the most revered deity. The right side of the part of Narmada river to the end of Himalayas is known as Badrikarnya. East is one of the four main directions. East is the direction of the sunrise. Any auspicious deed or ritual are performed facing to east. East was given importance even in the ancient science of architecture. Lord Ganesha is worshipped in the seven states of northeast, Orissa and West Bengal. Dharmarvarna, incarnation of Lord Ganesha, appeared in Lhasa in Tibet. Dharmavarna is the eighth incarnation according to Mudgal Puran. Jagatna Temple in Orissa in the east of Kalimata Temple in Bengal are the places of religious importance. Sriman Dagru Shet Ganpati Trust is associated with the religious tradition. Officers and students who happen to come to Pune for jobs or studies come for the darshan of the Grushet Ganpati. Devotees believe that their mind gets amused and tasks get accomplished by the darshan of the Grushet Ganpati. The Grushet Ganpati Trust has been working continuously in the education and health sector. Students and servicemen from the north of India have benefited from this work of the trust. These devotees offer Bengali sweets to Lord Ganesha from the bottom of their heart. The replicas of many eastern temples like Sri Jagatnath Temple, Lingraj Temple, Orissa, Belur Math, Kolkata, Pagoda of Nepal, and Sun Temple of Konark were displayed during the Ganpati festival to introduce eastern temples to common men. Devotees got the feeling of the first-hand darshan of the god in those temples as the replicas were exactly like the original temple. This made people know the eastern tradition and it also spread the message of national integration through the country. Shankaracharya from Sri Jagatnath Puri Swami Nityanand Saraswati has taken the Mahadarshan of the Grushet Ganpati. Kriya Rogyacharya Dr. Ashok Kumar Chatterjee had impaced the Lord. Former President of Lok Sabha P.A. Sangama Shatrugan Sinha, Major Niranjan G. Bali, Chief of the Armed Forces of Thailand Bukau and actress Aishwarya Rai and Rani Mukherjee have taken darshan of the Bappa and prayed to him. Cabinet Minister Dharmendra Pradhan have also taken the benefit of Bappa's Darshan. There is a beautiful confluence of legendary artists in the East. Artists like Sujat Khan Sahib, Begum Par- Parveen Sultan, Ustad Vilayat Ji Khan, Bappi Lehri, Ajay Ji Chakravarti paid their service at the Bappa's feet. Devotees from all the directions come for the Darshan of the Grushet Ganpati and pray for the accomplishment of their desires. Bappa also fulfills all the wishes of his devotees. Host of devotees keep keep coming with the belief that Papa fulfills the vows of the devotees that they take from the accomplishment of their wishes. Devotees feel close to Papa, who has possessed the name of his own devotee. Art groups from Northeast India come to Maharashtra, visit Pune, and take the darshan of Dagrushet Ganpati. Devotees from all the directions keep coming for the same. The Trust had organized the National Kabaddi competition in the year 2005 in Pune. In this competition, there was the special participation of players from eastern states like Western Bengal, Bihar, Orissa. Bihar and Orissa. Darshan of the Grushet Ganpati is a wonderful experience for all the devotees. Hands of the devotees get naturally folded before Bappa and they experience spiritual enlightenment and contentment. 
everyone should certainly avail the benefit of bappa's darshan at least once thank you jay ganesh due to covid this time bappa's darshan is only online